What's up everyone? How are you all doing? Well, let's look at the price of Bitcoin. The year of 2019 is about to be over, so we are entering the new period and let's hope that there will be some profits in 2020. Meanwhile, we are kind of in a still sideways price action, so I would like to show you my more or less long-term perspective on what is happening and why. Basically, right now we are still in the situation when we are either about to make a new high or about to make a new low and the public opinion is really split right now like those people who managed to sell uh, getting a short position at this area something like twelve thousand dollars they are still saying that well we are having lower highs lower lows there is no reason to say that the trend is reversed and yeah we probably will see the price much lower than six thousand dollars because again there is not so much volume at the lower point so probably we will wait for the better price to buy in to fill our longs and even if the price will go higher then we're still in a nice profit on the other hand people who manage to buy or getting long position at this area six thousand five hundred dollars around they are saying well you see we are having a double bottom, we might have an um, inverse head and shoulders pattern, we broke this trend line, we are approaching to this trend line, we are even having a le level of $7,800 constantly tested, so probably at some point it will be broken and we will go higher, we will break this trend line and so on and so forth. So you see always when people are judging the situation in the market, they have some kind of a bias depending on their position and it's very really really hard to break this biased view but let's try to look at this situation without these shores so basically again what is happening right now yes that is true that we are consolidating in the area of seven thousand dollars plus and technically again what we need to see in order to say that well this uh, downtrend is over first of all of course we need to show a uh, higher high we need to make a higher high above uh, seven thousand eight hundred dollars better to be above eight thousand dollars first of all of course we will wipe out all these uh, short orders which were open at this area also we will go above some major moving averages like 50 days moving average and 100 days moving average in fact this 100 days moving average is exactly at the trend line right now which is very interesting and again technically that would be a nice reversal pattern well kind of a reversal sign and indeed on a short term uh, time frame we are seeing kind of a stabilization and even this drop below seven thousand dollars could be treated as a bear trap in fact we went up after that very fast there was not so much volume here and all this area could be seen as just an accumulation zone but again we should be very careful because this market is very very manipulative you see always this squeezes to the upside and in fact uh, what is the meaning of the downtrend? You see, for example, this high, you see this high, you see this high, and so on. And all of those highs are lower and lower and lower. The point is, if, for example, this high would be not below this area, but somehow it would reach this previous high or even well will go higher then what would happen is that the majority of people who bought at this area at the top and still didn't sell when the price go went lower then after the rise they could even close their position into like breaking even or they could at least set a stop order and not be in this situation anymore when they had that, like a massive loss. So if the price of Bitcoin is about to be driven lower and the downtrend is just started, then it's not reasonable for, for those who manipulate the price, if we accept this kind of a theory, that they would allow those people to close at this area. Instead, they want them to stay in the loss and maybe close their position even lower or liquidate their positions even lower or even lower and that is exactly what the majority of the retailers will do when they will, they will see the price tanking to the lower and lower and lower areas and vice versa if we have a uptrend this is the same meaning for the higher lows 
So people who went short, for example, here, they are getting a huge loss when the price goes up. So if the price would have a chance to go lower, then those short positions would be able to be closed without any loss or set a reasonable stop order. That is why it's not reasonable for the huge players let the price go to this area. From this point of view, this situation is really tricky because right now we seemingly have the potential of the reversal, right? So let's say again, technically, we are printing a higher high, right? And then we even print a higher uh, low, which is higher than $6,400. And then we are going higher, okay? So again, technically, this price action means that we are reversing the trend, right? Also, this is the 50% Fibonacci retracement here. So if we'll attack this le level and we'll maybe even go like this, then all of that is really, really bullish, right? And the majority of the conservative traders would flip their positions to being long, especially at this area and in this area and the volume for this this kind of a uh, price action will probably be huge because again that would be not the retailers the small players but relatively huge uh, accounts which trade with uh, caution with a very careful strategy and at the same time it would be a very very nice bull trap so without moving price too high like uh, higher than let's say ten thousand dollars or nine thousand five hundred dollars the market could make a situation when a lot of the volume will enter long positions in this po at this point and those huge players who want to sell and want to buy much much lower would get this liquidity and then dump the price even lower that would be a perfect bull trap surely those um relatively reasonable traders investors they will set probably stop orders at some point here or here but again that would be another liquidity for the market that is why you see this situation is kind of tricky so at some point we are either having a huge dump or having a pump but in case of the dump it's it's clear that we are going lower we need to go short and so on but if we are having pump then we can't confirm that this is the reversal until we will see some like really huge levels like like ten thousand dollars something like that of course we can slowly increase our position but that not is the best um strategy of course and you know i think that this is really possible scenario this bull trap because let's say if you look at the stochastic rsi or stochastic oscillator then you'd see that in fact we are in the very high area pretty much overbought and usually we have something like this after that and this is associated with a drop in the price so indeed we could really have this final pump and then after that make a dump moreover we can have two kind of uh, possible scenarios in terms of the speed of this rise so if we assume that we have this rise we can make it something like this right or we can make a very fast rise and again, we can, of course, have a rise, a fast drop. But the slow increase in price is, in my opinion, very unlikely to happen, even at least by looking at the historical volatility. So you see, when historical volatility is low, we usually have the strong price move either dump like here or pump like here when again the, vol the volatility is low even here you see volatility is going lower and lower close to zero then we had the sudden change in price here we are approaching like very low level and again strong move and even this area again we are going much much lower than the average uh, for the historical volatility indicator so i would say that it's more likely to see some strong move not not a uh, steady rise or decrease in price but something like either this or this and if we are having dump then again it's expected we are in a downtrend and so on but if we are having a, a sharp rise then it's more likely that we will have something like this like we will have the rise very sharp very huge and again eventually it would appear to be a bull trap because well it's it's too sharp with such a downtrend we are usually either having a long steady accumulation or we are having the v-shape reversal we don't have this v-shape reversal so make a sudden rise 
after a relatively short accumulation it's very very unlikely in my opinion again of course everything is like in terms of probabilities either likely or unlikely so i'm just stating my opinion on those things of course it's not financial advice guys as you know but summing these things up i think that the most likely scenario to happen is that we might see either the sudden drop and maybe the final drop in the price where we can see a huge uh, volume here and then that would be the reversal point or we will see the sudden rise at that will be uh, a nice bull trap so in any case it's probably reasonable to be prepared for both of them so i hope that you can profit from any of those cases of course use your stop orders unfortunately without those we will not be able to trade successfully although with such weeks on uh, our market is really really hard to maintain them properly but well we have what we have right let's see what will happen so far i wish you again safe trading and more profits in 2020 that is it for today guys i hope that it was useful thank you for watching